Hi, how you doing? This is Kevin Scarpati. I'm a PR specialist for Razer, and I'm here today with the all-new Razer Blade. Uh, Razer fans know the last year at PAX, we introduced the first generation of the Razer Blade. We got great reviews. We got amazing critical feedback. The first batch of units actually sold out in half an hour. So we took all the feedback we got from the first blade and we've made the new blade even better. So I'm gonna walk you through it today. Uh, the first thing you need to know about the new blade is we've packed extreme levels of performance into the new blade. It's got an Intel chipset that's so new, I can't even tell you exactly what it is. Uh, it's a quad core, a third generation i7 processor. Um, we've also crammed an NVIDIA uh, GTX 660M uh, graphics in there so I mean that that's the graphics that every gamer is looking for and you know it's now in the new blade um, you know with that you're also keeping uh, the form factor that you know gamers loved about the first blade it's six points it's six and a half pounds it's 0.88 inches thin I mean this thing is super light my girlfriend can carry this around my apartment no problem so I mean we've kept that awesome form factor that gamers really liked about the first blade but we've crammed all that uh, extreme levels of performance into the new blade. Uh, the last thing you're really going to want to know about is we have all new features and applications with uh, with the blade. If you look over here, you see the uh, Switchblade UI. Uh, you know, originally shipped with these ten apps, but now if you do a simple three finger swipe over, it comes with all new um, uh, dedicated game apps. We have Counter Strike. We have um, Team Fortress 2. You know, if you're playing Team Fortress 2 and you decide oh, I want to play sniper class, just click the sniper class, there's all your icons right there on that screen. Um, and the cool thing about the Switchblade UI is you don't have to leave your game when you're, play, you know, when you're playing a game and want to use one of the apps. Let's say you're playing Star Wars The Old Republic and you want to run through how to get through a specific quest. Well, you can click this YouTube app right here, go on YouTube and you know, search for your video and play it right there on the screen without having to leave your game. It's a really cool feature and something you know, gamers are really excited about. Um, you know, along with the Switchblade UI, um, you know, with the game apps, we also have three of our own apps. We have our Game Timer app. Say you're playing League of Legends, want to know uh, when something specific is spawning. You know, you can create your own, or you can scroll down to the bottom here. League of Legends, Summoner's Rift. Click that, and let's say you want to know when the creeps are spawning. And that'll, that'll you know, you can time that, and that'll tell you when they're coming up. Um, also along with our new app, we have our new screenshot app. Say you're playing Battlefield 3, you score an epic headshot, you want to share with your friends, you can take a picture right there, select your image, click this Facebook app, uh, you know, click Facebook right there, add your own caption and share it directly to Facebook. So it's something really cool, uh, it really brings the total package that we think gamers are looking for. And you'd think with this level of performance, with this form factor, with all these new features and apps we're adding, you'd think you'd be paying more with the new Blade, you're actually paying less. Um, the old blade uh, started at $27.99, new blade is down to $24.99. We're still selling the old blade for those who want dual core processor and a true SSD. But um, we have two blades now and we're really excited about it. For more information on the new Razer blade, go to www.razerzone.com blade.